Hey everybody, this is how I like to end the work week with a sunset photo shoot. Now this episode's not about me taking uh, pictures of the sunset, it is about money. I'm going to show you guys how much money I made selling my images in the stock photography market for the month of April 2020. Now selling in stock photography is not a get rich quick scheme. It takes time to develop a large enough portfolio so you can have regular returns on your investment. Now I like to take my earnings and travel and take more pictures so it's really important to me to keep track of the income that I make in stock photography. So this is complete transparency, how much I actually make each month. Let's do this. I can be with you I just want to start out giving a shout out to Robin Gentry. Robin is a member of our community and was really neat as she kind of reached out to me and let me know that my YouTube videos have been inspiring her to take photography and sell her images. So thank you for that Robin. I mean that that's what this is all about when I get to inspire other people. But what's really cool is what Robin did. Robin got one of her images selected to be in the New York Times. As a matter of fact, she even got a $318 commission. Now here's that image. This image really tells a story. It tells the story of the times that we are in right now. This is simply a man wearing a surgical mask, but you don't need to see his whole face. Just look at his eyes. This image tells a story. His eyes tell you his concern for the uncertain future that he's gazing out upon. That is an incredibly powerful image. Great job, Robin. Very proud of you for taking such an incredible image and especially for that amazing commission. Now, if you guys are interested, I have a link down here to Robin's Instagram and her portfolio if you'd like to check out more of her images. Something I always really enjoy is seeing my images when they sell for the first time, whether it's a really old image or something that I just put up maybe a few days ago. So here are the images that sold for the first time in the stock photography market. Now what about my top income earners? Here are some of the top selling images from just a couple of the agencies I use. First of all, Dreams Time. I had two $2 image sales. Both of these are computer generated images. About 10 years ago, I tried computer generated illustrations in stock photography and fortunately, they still sell. Now, I much prefer taking the real life photography, but still, I continue to gain income from the images that I created, these illustrations I created 10 years ago. 
My top selling image on Shutterstock came from my episode on learning how to fly my DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone. This is the second night that I was flying my drone when I captured this image. I did a panorama of a beautiful desert sunset and got $3.75 commission. My top selling image on Adobe stock came from my visit to the Jongyense Buddhist Temple in Seoul, South Korea. I actually visited this temple twice that day, once during the day and once at night. This is from the daytime visit. Now we got there just in time for Buddha's birthday, so the entire outdoor area just had a ceiling of these colorful lanterns. This is a zoomed in image of a group of those lanterns. I got $3.96 for this image. My top image sale on Getty Images was from my first episode with my drone. So I was not too far from my house when I flew it and I decided after the sun had set or really close to the setting, I'd just take a picture of a neighborhood out in the desert. And this one got me, let's see, $26.25. Not bad for one of my first drone images. I had a little luck this month with a first time sale of some footage. Late last year, I took my mom and my aunt on their dream trip to see the lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Did you see? Huh? Did you get me? What? It's so my mom and aunt's evening just been made. The naked cowboy just came by. I did manage to get a little photography in and this blurred footage of Times Square sold for the first time for $1 on Getty Images. So here we go. I got to rely on some old technology since I'm in the field here. How much do they actually make? I'm going to go through each one of the different agencies I use and compare it to four years ago when I really started tracking my earnings till today. First one up is Alamy. I got 1,402 assets, goose eggs, zero sales this month. Hmm. Can stock photo. One, I have 3,582 assets on that site. 2017, I sold three images, 80 cents. Hmm. For 2020, this past, for April 2020, one image, 30 cents. Hmm. Big stock photo. I've got 5,292 assets on that site. In April 2017, made seven sales, got $4.59. And this April, six dollar, uh, six sales got a dollar seventy-five. Oh well. Hmm. One two three RF. I have a three thousand six hundred and thirty-four assets on that site in 2017. April 2017, made one sale, got twenty-two cents. And this past month, five sales, two dollars thirty cents. Don't worry, it's going to get better. It better get better. For deposit photos, only been uploading to them for a little more than a year. I've got 2,369 assets. So this past April made eight sales, $3.09. Hmm. All right, Dreams Time, one of the original ones that I upload to. And I used to get huge profits from this one. Currently, I've got 5,696 assets on it. 2017, hmm. 2017, I got uh, two dollars and uh, seven sales, two dollars forty-five cents, and in April of 2020, made four sales, four dollars and fourteen cents. So why do I take the time to work with these minor sites that I really don't get a lot of income from? I mean, in 2017, April 2017, 18 sales, eight dollars and six cents for April 2020, twenty-four dollars. Or excuse me, 24 sales and $11.58. Well, let me give you some facts. From all of last year, in 2018, excuse me, 2019, there you go, those sites combined together for the entire year, $249. So they are making income. As a matter of fact, the way how I budget, that's one year's worth of vacation. So I'm going to keep doing, uh, keep uploading to the sites and try and get out as much income as I can from them. All right, oh, it's wind. This is definitely a test of this new microphone tonight. All right, so for my three major sites, the big ones I get the money from, Shutterstock. In April 2017, I made four sales, got $1. In 
And you get them right now on Shutterstock. I got 2,400 assets. And for April of 2020, made 24 sales, got $19.96. Right. Getty Images. I have 2,096 assets on Getty right now. In 2017, made three sales, $3.64. For April 2020, 24 sales, $45.38. And finally, Adobe. Now, Adobe used to be Photolia, which is the original site I started uploading to. I've got 4,338 assets on that site. In 2017, April 2017, I sold seven images, got $7.50. This April 2020, 79 sales, $63.72. So my April total in 2017 for all my sites, 32 sales, $16.62. For April 2020, 151 sales, $140.64. So between April 2017 and April 2020, my monthly stock photography revenue has increased by almost nine times. So it does take consistent effort for you to create a portfolio that you can make some income from but I am definitely seeing the fruits of my labor so I have an episode coming up where I'm actually going to cash out on several of these stock agencies that's an episode you don't want to miss you can see how to do that so remember hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and remember never stop exploring